A measles outbreak at Disney World Parks has been making headlines the past couple of weeks. Several people have been infected, and reports are that many of them had not been vaccinated against the disease, making this a good time to bring up once again the topic of immunizations. Dr. Leland Chow is the medical director of Amer Group. They're just one of the many vendors that will be joining us for our Be More Healthy Expo, which is right around the corner. Dr. Chow is here today, though, to talk about immunizations. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so we're hearing about this measles uh, outbreak more and more. Is it a concern? What is the measles? Who should be, you know, immunized against it? I think it is a really good time to readdress this topic of immunization because it's something called herd immunity. It's that we need to have everyone immunized mm -hmm. in order to protect ourselves as well as the people around us. All right, so let's start with the youngest population, children, babies. Mm -hmm. You know, my daughter is getting immunizations just about every checkup. That's wonderful. And something about um, keeping reminders for yourself and the record of the vaccination is so important. As a family physician, I'm always looking for that document of past immunization. That little book or that little tool mm -hmm. is something so important and to keep those reminders in your calendar. For your it's not up. just children though, not just the babies because that's where we tend to focus our attention. As the children get older, um, they still need vaccines? Absolutely. And 2014 was the first year that the state of Maryland required our preteens to get required immunization. And I really, really appreciate that this was now something that was so, so visible because our teens are kind of the lost, lost population and um, they really need to be coming in. The HPV vaccine is particularly important. January is actually Cervical Cancer Prevention Month. And we know that these vaccines will prevent these, these kids as they become older to um, be protected against cervical cancer and even, venereal warts as well. Even adults, though. We can't leave the adults out. Absolutely. I wouldn't you know, have thought about it. I mean, so I'm thinking now, what do I need? Yeah. Yeah, well, even our, our younger, younger people and our younger women, up to the age of 26, they can get an HPV vaccine. Okay. And it's a series of three. So, you know, throughout our, um, our lifespan, we should be checking in with our primary care doctor to make sure that we're really getting the recommended vaccines. Also, the um, folks who are around newborns, the mm -hmm. Tdap vaccine is yep. so, so important so that we can really protect that newborn from a very potentially fatal illness. All right. We appreciate you coming in. You can get much more information about this at the Be More he uh, Healthy Expo coming up February 28th. You don't want to miss it. We'll have much more information in the days leading up to that. Well, coming up, former college athletes file a lawsuit against a major university 